If you want to buy cheap and reliable Ultimate Team FIFA coins, then go to fifacoinszone.com. What's up guys, I'm Tom LFC and welcome to a brand new Liverpool Carrier Mode episode and I'm still uh, debating with myself what I should do with the goalkeeping situation I think I will try to sign Muslera and Courtois Well, you know what we should do? I think I should sign Muslera now uh, and uh, and maybe maybe Oh wow, we don't have enough money for him? What? Oh god, okay, let's let's give him, uh, let's give them... Hmm... Let's give them a player that we want to sell anyway. Uh, it says that they are, he, are, he has a value of 16 and a half million. And the offer should be quite high. So I'm debating, let's give him Jaka and uh, maybe like 12 million or something like that. Let's try, let's try with 10 million plus Jaka. And um, yeah, I, I think what I should, what I would do, what I will do is sign Muslera now, keep him for one or two seasons because he's a much, much better goalkeeper right now than Mignolet. So I won't sell Mignolet, I will keep Muslera, maybe develop Mignolet. Uh, Mignolet will be a backup goalkeeper, I'm not sure. So, yeah, what, what, I, should, what I could do uh, is sign Muslera. And uh, after he goes down, I can sign uh, Courtois a little bit later. Because Muslera has 91 reflexes and that's very, very tasty. Very tasty indeed. I changed my mind. I think I will offer them uh, Mignolet. He's worth 10 million and maybe offer him like 4 million because I would, uh, won't have uh, money to sign uh, Coutinho. S sorry, uh, I, uh, uh, what am I talking about? So, so I, I'm offering, I will, I, will, I will only have more money when I sell Coutinho. That was uh, what I meant to say. So let's offer Mignolet plus 4 million for Muslero and let's see what they say. I think Muslero would be a major upgrade and maybe one in one or two seasons we could uh, get Courtois once he's a much better goalkeeper. At the moment Muslero is better. I'm just getting a quick fix for this season and maybe next season and then we can look at the goalkeeping situation again. So let me know guys what do you think about this. I will also read your comments and change my mind uh, I'm recording this episode straight after the previous episode that I uploaded uh, today so I won't be able to read your comments because I'm going out later but I wanted to bring you two episodes later today so smash the like button get this video to 150 likes that's the like challenge for today if you want to see two episodes tomorrow as well and now let's smash Stoke City so I made two changes to the side, Daniel Aguirre and Jordan Henderson coming into the side, in, into the place of Sako and uh, Malanda. And now we must win against Stoke, we lost the first game unbelievably against Chelsea, which was really unlucky, I'm still absolutely furious with that. Because we, were, we went unbeaten last season, in the whole of last season, so let's try and smash Stoke. Welcome to Anfield, I'm so excited, the first game at home in the league and the Invincibles Rira is over, we lost the first game against Chelsea after going the whole of last season unbeaten which was an amazing achievement on legendary difficulty, I never ever dreamed of doing that and that side will go down in history that was Gerard's last season and some of you guys said that uh, maybe the team is lacking Gerard's uh, organization already because we conceded two against Tottenham, we conceded two against Chelsea. Let's try 
and keep uh, and let's go, let's try and win this game and then put a long winning run together because that's what we need if we want to win the league. Oh my word! No stop! Suarez! What a save! Come on! Oh my god, it's the second one-on-one -on -one with that we missed. The first one we bowled it up. We should have shot earlier with storage. Now Suarez's shot is saved. No! Holy shit, they hit the post. Oh, Stoke. Suarez, yes, got in. Luis Suarez, come on, what a brilliant finish, we are up and running at Anfield, yes guys, great, great skill, I released Suarez and I knew that if I take a touch the defender might get it, so I needed to make the skill first time and after that Suarez absolutely buries it into the far corner, great goal. We are 1-0 up. Come on, let's score more goals to make the game safe. No! Oh my god, what a miss by Stoke Ramos. I think he is playing for Hertha Berlin in real life. Look at that, <laughs> look at that guy in the crowd. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck is going on? Shakiri! Oh, it gets blocked again. We are keeping up the pressure on Stoke. We are playing much better in the second half, keeping the ball well. Suarez! No way. Oh my... There is another amazing save by the goalie. Oh my god! Oh my word, what a miss! Oh my word, what a miss. I tackled with Sandro and he just missed the ball. And we make free signing, free new uh, uh, substitutes. Uh, oh my god. Sterling Gardner and Suso coming on. Let's keep this lead. Phew, what a relief. I worked, I had to work my socks off to win this game. But in the end, that Suarez goal was enough. 1-0 victory against Stoke. We are really a little bit struggling at the beginning of this season. I don't know what's wrong. Maybe I should keep the ball a little bit better. Hopefully we can rack up a big win against Watford in the next game. And that will uh, set us on a winning, winning uh, run. So Dortmund came back and they say that they are interested in Mignolet. But uh, we didn't... Uh, they, they want 9.5 million plus Mignolet, which is a lot of money because that's that's like 20 million pounds. So let's try 6 million plus Mignolet and hopefully they will accept that. I really like Mignolet, don't get me wrong, and he served me right uh, in the three seasons that we played with Mignolet. We won the Premier League twice, we won the Champions League, we won the League Cups, we won the Community Shields, European Super Cups. But uh, I, I, I think it's time. The time is right. Yes! Yes, Montoya signed the new contract. Great, brilliant. So I think the, tri the time is right to get an upgrade in the goalkeeper position as well. Because I, th I think uh, Malanda and Isco improves my team a lot. And now the only position left that I can, could be improved on is the goalkeeping position. So hopefully with Musleira, that would be a really, really big, 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 big improvement, big, big upgrade. And they accepted our contract, our transfer offer, 7 million plus Mignolet for Musleira. But don't forget, guys, he has 91 reflexes, which is just absolutely out of this world. He wants 130 grand a week. 
That would be absolutely amazing. So, uh, so yeah, now I'm off to Watford. And let's see if the deal goes ahead. Yes, it went ahead. Yes, so now Muslera can make his debut against Watford. Absolutely brilliant. Goodbye, Mignolet. You were a great servant for the club, but I think it's time to uh, get some beasts in. And Muslera is an 86 rated goalkeeper. He's an absolutely brilliant, brilliant player. So I want to look at his stats and uh, let's see, let's see uh, how good is actually Muslera. Look at this guys, 91 reflexes, 85 positioning, 83 kicking, 86 handling, 83 diving. He is an absolute beast and I know he's 30 years old, so I think he can last one or two seasons. He is a much, much better goalkeeper than Mignolet. And I think he improved our, improves our squad a lot. So uh, I hope you guys uh, are happy with that new signing. I'm so excited. So guys, here are the latest uh, first two weeks results in the Premier League. Man City dropped points against Fulham. And I'm really gutted that we lost to Chelsea, but results uh, really went our way. Man United couldn't beat Queen's Park Rangers, but then they beat Bolton. Tottenham drew 1-1 with Man City, which is another great result for us. And uh, we, we beat Soak City. Chelsea won against Southampton, so I think our main title rivals will be Chelsea this season. But now we are off to Watford and I made a couple of changes in the team. Well, actually, four changes. Saku and Ilori comes back into the center of um, midfield and center of defense. Sorry, of course, Muslera starts for the first time. I want to give him his debut. Also, Uchan and Gary Gardner come into the side. So now let's go to Watford. Let's win. And uh, let's, we must go on a long winning run. So it's vital to beat the small teams. And as you can see, Chelsea have another winnable game against Chris Park Rangers. I will, of course, uh, follow Chelsea's results closest. So let's go, guys. Let's try and win against Watford. Welcome. Third game in the league. Watford against Liverpool. And we didn't start uh, that well. I, I was uh, hoping that with the new signings, we would be off to a, a flyer. But we... we, we really struggled I don't know why I can't put my finger on it to be honest and uh, but um, our defense tightened up against Stoke we kept a clean sheet which is vital and now I think the goals will come against Watford hopefully we can rack up a big big score line and I I'm uh, expecting Gary Gardner who I gave the number eight shirt to do that shirt proud and to to put uh, in a brilliant performance in the footsteps of Steven Gerrard. Let's go. Oh, yes. Storage! Come on, finish! Yes! Yes! Tadia Storage scores his first goal of the season. Captain Storage! Yes! Come on, guys. We got very lucky. And look at the whole team doing the Storage dance. Oh, my days. We got very lucky because the ball just rebounded straight back to Sturridge and he finishes in off the far post. Woods, the Watford goalkeeper, can't get a hand to it. Captain, great start. Sako. Sturridge! No! Oh, come on! Gardner! What a shot! Gardner has a brilliant shot. Let's make three substitutions. Martial, Hesse, Rodriguez and Suso coming on. Let's see if we can score one more goal. 20 minutes left. Martial, come on, I shot! No! Yes, guys, get in! Another three points in the bag. And the new signing, Muslera makes his debut with a clean sheet i i'm already less worried because i know that i have a goalkeeper with 91 reflexes in goal so even if the opposition goes through 
I can be pretty uh, sure that he will save everything. He, he he had only he had to only make one save because we defended really well. We could have scored more, but the most important thing is the three points. And I'm sure that we will start banging in the goals sooner or later. So here are the latest results from August. Man City won their game and also Chelsea, Man United, Tottenham won their games as well. So basically all the big teams won. Uh, so let's see what that means in terms of the league table. And we are at the lowly sixth place. Because we lost the first game, Chelsea and Newcastle started with a 100% record. Ars Arsenal, wow, Arsenal started terribly. They are in lowly 14th place. I'm sure I will rack up the points because uh, we have a lot of winnable games coming up. If you want to see the next episode uploaded early tomorrow, then just like the video, guys. And uh, oh, the Champions League groups are announced. Yes, let's look at that guys. I wonder what kind of group I will I was put in So the European Super Cup, of, Super Cup final was won against by Real Madrid. So let's see the Champions League groups Barcelona and Milan will go through probably from this group and wow, that's a quite a nice group Sevilla, Zenit and FC Copenhagen the Danish champions, I guess I, I think I can win that group because no big, big teams, no powerhouses were left in the group. Of course, Zenit is a really strong team with Hulk. Juventus and Dortmund, wow, and Lyon. This is a very difficult group. Real Madrid, Paris Saint-Germain. So I, I think I got very lucky with this group. And we faced Sevilla in the last 16, last year in the Champions League. And we ran out 3-0 three three winners away from home. Man City got a quite an easy group with Valencia. Ben well, I'm not sure. Benfica might be strong. Man United will face Schalke, Ajax and Genk. Chelsea are paired with Leverkusen, Marseille and Celtic. That's the group of death, I think. Very strong the group. And also Bayern will face Porto, Spartak Moscow and Galatasaray. So, um, yeah, this will be a very, very interesting Champions League campaign. If you want to see the next episode, like the video and let me know if I should sign or sell any other players. I'm running row on the wage budget. No other bids came in for Philip Coutinho yet, but I think uh, maybe on transfer deadline day I will be able to sell him. So let me know your thoughts on, the, on me buying Muslera, replacing Mignolet with Muslera. Let me know in the comments. This is maybe just for one or two seasons. After that I will by another great goalkeeper so let me know what are your thoughts on that and hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching see you later guys goodbye so let's see what the side guys wow on fifa 15 i hope they will show anfield from the area view as well because that's just an absolutely beautiful beautiful side Bayern Munich have one hell of a team so uh, let's go guys, let's try and uh, beat them at the Allianz Arena.